with tiredness. Tiredness is fascinating. It, to recognize the thought and the physical sensations of tiredness as inseparable data appearing within the vast expanse of open intelligence, like, like a rainbow appearing within the vast expanse of sky. Really, again, it's the same shift. It's the shift from giving up the right to um, be a victim of that thought and that sensation. And so for me, that would really look like... Um, it's the same pattern going into the story of why am I tired? Oh God, I didn't get enough sleep again last night. Oh, damn that Facebook. Or you know, it's, it, it's, it's whatever it is. It's like something, oh, you know, or it's, it's the food I ate. I ate my food too late and therefore I was digesting into the night and that's affected me. Or was it the dream that I had? Or, you know, or maybe it's just something much deeper that I need to worry about. Or, or maybe it's a me you know it's just there's there's an endless world of stories and descriptions that I can go into around the tiredness, and the what's what's tiring is not that one thought or what that one feeling, but it's all of the descriptions, the endless descriptions about why it's there, and how it limits me. Now that's exhausting, and so what's interesting is to allow the the thought or the feeling of tiredness also to be as it is, to recognise the basis of the tiredness, of the experience, as open intelligence. And then to see actually that the tiredness and the feelings around it are full of energy. They are also this dynamic energy of open intelligence, like everything else. And in that there's a clear perspective. In that is the accessing of the, uh, just the knowing of what will be of most benefit of seeing, well, I might feel a little bit tired, but really it doesn't make any difference to my day and I can continue on with everything as normal. And maybe during the day that thought or that sensation will come up again and it will also self-release naturally again. But also I can see, well, actually what I need to do is rest today. And maybe I'll go home and take half an hour power nap at, at, in the afternoon. or It's just this spontaneous accessing of the wisdom of seeing what will be of most benefit. And that's what you're accessing when you allow the data just to flow on by. Not bound to other people's ideas about what things mean or how you need to deal with them, but accessing your own innate wisdom. And um, the other question about responsibility and... Um, uh, my, my thoughts just... They, I, I'm, they're just hilarious. Just hilarious. My, the things I think are just out of control. And the sad thing is that these out of control, hilarious thoughts used to inform everything about me. And um, nothing's changed. Nothing changed and nothing needs to change for the recognition of open intelligence. My thoughts are still completely bizarre, usually inappropriate. <laughs> And if I followed after them, then my life would still be the complete mess and the, 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 the tension and the confusion and the difficulty I had in relationship would still be the case. So, for example, at some <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, quite often, one of the first things I do is I, I just check my phone just to see the messages. And quite often when I check my phone in the morning, there's just a whole load of new messages that have come in. And the thought, oh, just, wanna th I want to throw my phone. It's just, oh, no, I just can't be bothered. I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to go and sit on the beach all day today. And da -da 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 -da. off we go. And it's hilarious. It is absolutely hilarious that this still comes up for me every single day. And every single day, I answer every single one of those emails. And I do it with as much love and care and um, sensitivity and empowerment as I can. So fascinating to see that the data can still remain whatever they are. They don't need to change. But the power to see what will be of most benefit in recognizing the data as inseparable from open intelligence, that's what changes. And in the 12 empowerments, you get to see exactly what are the, the data that each of us has our own favorite set of data that we believe we're victims to. I had loads. 
and to really see that in each of these cases we have this power of discernment, this power of choice. And all we need to do is see that we can rely on open intelligence, even for a short moment. It's always as simple as that, but it's, a, it's amazing to see how easy it is to forget that we have that choice. And that's why we have the rest of the support mechanism. That's why there are trainings, and it's something that you can train up. It's not something that happens randomly. It may happen randomly, but you can increase your capacity to access that. This is the training up and the education in the nature of mind.